hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video we will learn how to find the first working day in a month using power automate cloud flow so please watch this video till the end so that you can understand it completely and if you have not subscribed my youtube channel yet please subscribe it so let's get started so first of all what we will do is we will click on instant cloud flow so that we can trigger the flow manually and from the trigger we will choose manually trigger a flow and we will give the flow name as find first working day and then i will click on create now i will click on new step and then I will look for an action which is called as initialize a variable. And I'll give the variable name as first working day. The data type of it I'll keep it as string. And in the value I'll specify the I'll specify the current date. So here what I will do is I will look for the function which is called as start of the month and inside this I will specify the function which will give me the current date which is UTC now and the next parameter will take as the date time format. So I will specify yyyy dot mm hyphen mm and hyphen dd I will click on save and then I will run the flow I will select manually and click on test and then again click on run flow Your flow has been executed and you can see that the value is coming as 1st of December 2023 let's say if you want to know what was the day on that particular day in that case what you can do is you can remove these formats and keep full time DD so it will give you the full name of the day if you specify the dd three times you will get first three characters of the day here you can see that it was friday now what i want to do is i will use a switch case for this i will click on control and then from here i will choose switch control and here I'll specify the formula and I will use day of week so this is the function that I'm going to use to identify what was the day okay and from here I will choose first working day and then I will click on ok so this function is going to give me the numeric value so if it is Sunday it will return 0 if it is 1 then it is Monday right so it will keep on going till Friday so Friday will be 5th and Saturday will be 6th okay so what I want to do is I want to know if it is 0 so the case is going to be 0 and what I will do is again I will look for an action which is called as compose and inside this I will specify the formula
So in this case, what I want to say is, if if it is zero, which means if it is Sunday, then I want to add one day. If we will add one day in this date, which is first working day, then it will become Monday. Okay. So I will use add days function. Inside this, I will choose the variable which is first working day, comma one. And the third parameter of add days is going to be the format of it. So here I will use dd dd. I will click on OK. And the next case is going to be 6. 6 means it is Saturday. If it is Saturday, then what we want to do is we want to use the compose action. And in this formula, I will just copy this formula. And then I'll paste it inside the expression. So if it is Saturday, then I want to add two days so that it can become Monday. Okay. And then I will click on OK. And in the default case, what I want to do is I want to just print the name of the day. So I will look for compose. And then from here, what I want to do is I will take format date time and I will choose the variables. So I'll click on dynamic content and from here I'll choose the variable and then the next parameter is going to be the format so i'll specify the format in dd dd okay now i will click on save then i will click on test and then select the manually and then click on test and then click on run flow and it will be done So it has generated an error because here we did not change the format. So what I will do is I will use the format as yyyy-mm-dd. Now I will click on update. I will click on test. Again click on test and then run flow. This time your flow ran successfully. I will check and here you can see that it was Friday. Let's do one thing. Let's add one day in the start of a month so that it considers Saturday as a first day of the month. For that what we will do is we will use add days and the next parameter for this is going to be one and then the format which I'm going to specify is going to be yyyy hyphen mm hyphen dd okay so because December, right? So in this month, the day, the first day of this month was Friday. Now I'm trying to make it to be Saturday so that we can understand whether it is going to the right case. Okay, so I'll click on update. 
and now I will click on test. And again I will click on run flow and done. It is supposed to go to the second case. So as you can see the day of the week it became as 6 which means it was Saturday and now it has come here. Now it is giving me Monday because we have added two days in it so that it becomes a working day. Similarly if I come here and add one more day in it then the first day of the month will become as Sunday and if it is Sunday then it is supposed to come here right so I'll click on test save test and run flow and done now you will see that it will come to the first case and from there it will add one day and then it will become Monday right so this is how you can find the first working day in a month using cloud flow in power automate if you like this video please click on the like button and please subscribe my youtube channel and if you have any question please post it in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day